I've been listening now to the spokesperson for the president, Jay Carney. He was taking a question about a report that came out today regarding the fact that by the end of this month, remember Obamacare, the website was supposed to be fixed. Then it was the vast majority of people would be able to get on it. Now there's a report that says even by the end of the month, only 80 percent of the people will be able to get on. So one out of five, 20 percent of the American public will not be able to still access healthcare.gov. Jay Carney there giving some explanations as to why that would be the case. Well, the Obamacare fiasco, no surprise to one Republican who actually read the bill. Senator Mike Enzi predicting its failures three years ago, saying no way could the president make good on his promise that folks could keep their insurance if they liked it. The reality of this new regulation is that if you like what you have, you can't keep it. Senator Enzi proposing a fix back then that would let Americans keep their insurance. In response, though, Dems ridiculing him, accusing him of fear-mongering, and unanimously voting no on his measure. Senator Enzi joins me now. Good to see you, Senator. Good to see you. Have you framed Senate Joint Resolution 39 uh, that you proposed back three years ago? Because I think you were right, weren't you? I, I was right, and uh, I found that in the Federal Register, which is an evaluation by the Obama administration of what's going to happen. And it predicted that maybe 68 percent of the people would lose their insurance because of the additional requirements that were put into Obamacare under rules and regulations. And fortunately, when it's rules and regulations, we have a fix for it that doesn't require Harry Reid. And that's a Congressional Review Act. I put that in. The Democrats chastised me for saying that it couldn't be fixed. That this would make it worse, and then they voted unanimously against it. They are stuck with it now. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing that we fast forward to three years and look exactly where we are. You were exactly right. I want to move on, though, to moving forward, because I know you have similar concerns for what's going to happen when small businesses go through this same process. What are your concerns? Well, I've, I've found that they're going to aggregate the numbers. So people that think that they can go to 29 hours for their employees are finding out that that really doesn't get rid of employees for them. Aggregating it means that they multiply the nine employees, time, the 10 employees times the 29 hours, and they still have nine and two-thirds employees. So they can't get under that 50 mark. And if you own part of one business and part of another business, you actually own both of those as far as the numbers. So they've got so many traps built into this thing that it's going to be a possible for the, the small businessman to be able to uh, comply with the law. We need to change the law so that it goes back to 40 hours. That's always been what full time well, that's was. that's interesting, and Senator. Senator, that's so interesting because we've even heard from the union saying that the classic work week of 40 hours could change as a result of Obamacare. But what you're telling me now today is that there aren't going to be any loopholes for people. Small businesses and, quite frankly, employees are still going to face a huge problem. Yes, if, if you get into the regulations on this bill, not only could we not read the whole bill so that we could know what was in it, now they put out thousands of pages of regulations, and it's hard to keep up with those. I try to keep up with them. I look at all the numbers that they have in there because I'm the accountant in the Senate, and there are just all kinds of little traps that are there, not just for small business. Big business is going to have them too, but the small businessmen can't afford to hire somebody special in order to look through all these regulations, in order to comply with all of these regulations. and, and so so it's a, it's a nightmare. Their ready, fire, aim system of, right. of uh, handling a website is just the tip of the iceberg. Well, I appreciate the fact that you actually read the 3,000-page bill. Senator Mike Enzi, thanks much for your time today. Thank you.